heating experts are urging households to do one thing to their radiators to prevent costly repairs and cold homes this winter. As temperatures continue to plummet, it's important to make sure your heating system is in working order, especially the radiators. According to the experts at Tool Station, homeowners should be checking them once every six months, but 46% of Brits aren't doing this. During this, it should be checked for cold spots, buildup and that its valves can be altered. If ignored, it raises the risk of a radiator breakdown, which no one wants in the colder season. To help households avoid this, Danielle Robinson, Central Heating Category Manager at Tool Station, has shared some expert advice for keeping radiators in top condition. She has advised anyone who notices cold spots or noises from their radiators to bleed them straight away to avoid a breakdown. Danielle said, with cold weather due, it's worth checking everything is working before you batten down the hatches for Christmas. The combination of cold weather, damp, frost, and preparing to host family and friends, can put extra stress on parts of the home that are essential for keeping homes warm and dry. It comes on December 15th which is dubbed as Fix It Friday, the busiest day of the year for electricians, plumbers, and heating engineers to be called out for emergency home repairs. Half of these tradespeople expect to be emergency called out to fix leaking radiators, which could cost homeowners up to £255 on average. Bleeding a radiator is an easy process, but Danielle highlighted that it's important to sooner than later. Bleeding a radiator is necessary when it doesn't get warm all the way to the top or if it makes noises when the heating is turned on, she explained. This is because trapped air makes the radiators less effective, and bleeding them lets this air out so the warm water can circulate properly. It is recommended to bleed your radiators at least once a year, usually before winter starts. However, if you notice that your radiator is not warming up properly or is making noises, you should bleed it straight away. If you have never bled a radiator or are unsure how to do so, Danielle has also shared a step-by-step -step guide for to help struggling homeowners. How to bleed a radiator In 5 steps you will need a radiator key or a screwdriver, depending on the type of radiator you have and a cloth to protect your floor and walls from any water drips. Turn off the heating, before starting ensure the heating is turned off and the radiators are fully cooled down. Locate the radiator bleed valve, these are usually located at the top corner of your radiators and look like a round hole with a square inside. Open the valve, slowly turn the key anti-clockwise to open the valve and release any trapped air. Close the valve, once the hissing stops and water begins to escape, turn the key clockwise to close the valve. Check the heating, check your radiator to make sure it fully heats up. Join the daily record WhatsApp community. Get the latest news sent straight to your messages by joining our WhatsApp community today. You'll receive daily updates on breaking news as well as the top headlines across Scotland. No one will be able to see who is signed up and no one can send messages except the Daily Record team. All you have to do is click here if you're on mobile, select Join Community and you're in. If you're on a desktop, simply scan the QR code above with your phone and click Join Community. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. To leave our community click on the name at the top of your screen and choose Exit Group. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice.